Hello and welcome to sunny Portugal. We're talking about displacement foods today. Now displacement foods are discussed in this book, Nutritional and Physical Degeneration. This is by Western A Price. It's a must for anyone who wishes to improve their vitality and health. Now Western A Price was a holistic dentist who traveled the world and studied different tribes. He wanted to know what their, their teeth health was like, their dental arches, their dental cavities, um, and the, the craniofacial structures. Now what he studied is he studied some real primitive um, people. So he, he studied in Switzerland, um, in Scotland, um, in America, all the Indians and Eskimos and he came to some amazing findings. What he found is the people, so for example, the people in Switzerland of the Le Chantel Valley, they were very much untouched by what we would call white man's foods or displacement foods. They basically lived self-dependently. Um, they lived off um, rye grain, made their own rye bread, and they lived off unpasteurized milk, unpasteurized butter, um, and they had meat once a week. Um, and they lived off the occasional vegetables, all which was grown by themselves. Western Price studied all the nutrition in these foods and they were very high. These people had great physiques. Um, they were all in great shape and they could perform um, typical functional daily activities. And then he studied um, an area of say Rhone Valley in Switzerland and they had much more exposure, they had much more roads coming through. Um, so access was easier and they were exposed to white man's foods. It was canned fruits, um, jams, processed white flour, uh, white sugar, and the health difference between the two was massive. And Western Price actually discovered this across the board. Anyone, any tribe or any native, whether it was an Eskimo, whether it was from um, the Hebrides in Scotland, when they were exposed to these displacement foods, their health just deteriorate, deteriorated. He also looked, um, so with the Le Chantel Valley in Switzerland, he looked um, for cavities in their teeth and only 2.3% of them had showed signs of cavities. Whereas the Rhone Valley in Switzerland had around just over 20% in cavities in people. So the percent percentage was higher. Um, it's safe to say that these natives, they didn't really use Colgate, they didn't brush the, their teeth, they just lived to the pressures of nature and um, to the accordance of what would be maybe mother nature or nature. Um, so the diet was very good, they ate nutritious food. And it was the same across all, the percentages were very similar. If you were, in, if you were living in a primitive, in a, in a, in a cult or in a, in a tribe that is sticking to the principles of nature, they were very much vibrant and healthy and very little disease. Whereas people who were touched by white man's foods um, had a much higher rate of cavities. And one thing that was very much, much of a breakthrough and is massively important to health, particularly when you're a child and growing up, is he looked at craniofacial structures. Now craniofacial structures, you have a rule of thirds. And basically, if I show you here, the hairline to the top of the nose, the top of the nose to the bottom of the nose, and then the bottom of the nose to the bottom of the chin should all be level. And you can see there, I had a crowded middle third. It was narrow on the middle third. So I may, me myself, may have well been exposed to malnutrition, which has affected my breathing. I can definitely, I can definitely guarantee you that. I, I've been mouth breathing for, for a long, long time in my life. And this is one of the things that Western Price identified people in these modern districts who were just mouth breathing because they had a crowded middle third and imagine the jaw, a narrow jaw with teeth trying to grow on that narrow jaw, it causes all kinds of problems. If you can't breathe, I mean within three minutes you're going to die. If you can't breathe effectively, but you see what I'm saying, if you can't breathe effectively, trust me, and your teeth are not coming together correctly and you've got all these dental issues, your health is going to just be very, a very much an uphill struggle particularly from childhood. Now, obviously, if, you, if your teeth are not correct and you, your jaws narrow in the sense of craniofacial structures, 
you're going to get musculoskeletal problems, you're going to get organ problems, you're going to get neck issues, you're going to get postural problems. All these are related, whether you think it or not. It definitely relates, and it's all discovered in this book. It has pictures in this book that show you exactly what um, malnourishment can lead to. So today, what can we do? Today we can, my advice would be to um, switch to unpasteurized dairy because it's more nutritious organic and it's grass fed, whether that's unpasteurized raw goat's milk or unpasteurized raw cow's milk. I'll leave all the resources in the description box. Switch to a more processed, uh, to a less processed um, Celtic sea salt. I'll leave the uh, link here as well. Um, use don't use white flowers use more whole grain um, flowers more nutritious uh, flowers and i can give you a, a website with um, gluten-free breads that are more nutritious and use organic ingredients um, and lastly you know you don't want to use white sugar you want to use more natural things whether it's maple syrup or an organic raw honey these are the things you're going to want to use if I haven't mentioned it, I'm not sure, it's quite a long video, but displacement foods were identified by Western A. Price as white sugar, white flour, white table salt, and pasteurized dairy. There's not a lot of nutrition in those things, and that's why people started to have problems, and that's why people are having problems today. Go to your supermarket, you see all these, every shelf is stacked with all this crap. We've got to change it because otherwise we are going down downhill and I hate to sound negative about that but that's the way things are going so we're gonna make it happen today and we've got to do something about it that's all for me in sunny Portugal see you soon